Hey folks, and thanks for joining me. You can see I've got the RCA Victor playing, and I want to demonstrate how to hook up an external antenna to a loop antenna that does not have an external connection. Uh, just remember when you're hooking up an external antenna, you're still going to just bring in the noise itself that that uh, particular long wire or short wire in my case picks up which is located here in the shop so you know your experience may be different than what we get here you can hear a station uh, very faintly this is about uh, 23 miles away and uh, it's oriented in the uh, north position back this direction and that's the way the loop is on the uh, back of the receiver so let me hook up the uh, wire antenna and you may hear a loud pop for those that have uh, headphones on, so you may want to mute just for a moment. So you can hear the difference now. Cut that down so we don't get a copyright issue, but uh, you can see it makes a significant uh, change in the uh, sensitivity. Here's another station in the distance. You can hear the loop antenna itself picking it up. And then we'll connect the wire antenna. Again, you may hear a pop. So it definitely can make a significant difference. And uh, let me just show you the simple construction techniques. So you can uh, build one of these for yourself and uh, tie it in to your All-American 5 radio. So you can see the built-in loop antenna for this particular All-American 5, uh, fairly common for uh, back in the day. Again, it's nothing more really than an antenna coil and the inductance, of course, is most important. It uh, forms an LC circuit, of course, when coupled back to the uh, tuning condenser or tuning capacitor. Taking a piece of uh, cardboard here, and I've got a, a spool of solid wire. Probably need a little bit more, but I'll just use what I have on hand. And I'm cutting out the uh, dimensions here to form a uh, support for the, I think it's 24 AWG wire that uh, I'll tape to the back of the existing uh, loop antenna. And a couple of turns uh, probably would work better. You can see I've got uh, probably two and a half turns of wire. And you'll see the orientation of the wire itself is to mirror what's there for the uh, loop antenna. So uh, keep that in mind. And my start winding attaches back to the safety cap. You see X1, Y2, and that connects uh, directly to the chassis of the uh, receiver. And the wire you see on the uh, outside again connects to, in my case, I'm gonna call it a short wire antenna, about 10 to 12 feet, elevated here in the uh, shop. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Hope you found it uh, helpful.